Hey there, um, I'm going to install the boil coil now in my 20 gallon Blickman kettle. The first step is they give you this template right here and I'm going to cut it out. Uh, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect on this side. Really, it doesn't have to be perfect anywhere except the bottom. And I found that uh, on the first one, from where you put it, this whole piece right here just gets in the way. So I've, I've cut that, cut that away. The thermometer uh, touches that and makes it extremely impossible to get the paper down without folding it. So I figure just cut it away. Just make sure, yeah, get the bottom really really flat in this spot here get that cut out this is gonna sit inside of your little jam like this so I'm gonna tape that on okay so now that we have uh, gotten that taken care of we're gonna use a center punch and hit these holes. So this is just a you nail that down, and then you nail that down. I have this gracefully wedged up on a Dremel tool, so it won't roll. And it's not working. So now that that's done, we're gonna take. We've got an eighth-inch drill bit, and I gotta pop that. I'm gonna run it backwards for a second on both holes. I like to run backwards and then forwards. And now we're done there. Rip this thing off and keep struggling with my, my jam. Pop that drill bit out, and I'm gonna use a quarter inch drill bit now to make this a little bit bigger. And now my holes are done, as far as I'm concerned. I'm not gonna use a step bit, because I think they're for girls. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how a hole punch works. I'll take these three pieces, Right? Pop that in there. And we'll put the other piece on the inside. Once that's done, we're going to take a socket wrench. And put it on that. I am really struggling here. Uh, and I'm just going to tighten this up. It would be easier if I was standing this thing up, but I don't feel like moving the camera, so... Now I've got a perfect hole with no burrs, nothing sharp the exact size that I need it. Then, uh, got to take this apart. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one and uh, do that without you to make this video shorter. So, you can see now that I've got two holes right here that are perfect 5 8 holes. And uh, got this dip tube here that's in the way. You got to get that out of the way. So, lucky for all of us, when you spend butt tons of money on a uh, on a kettle, Blickman will send you the proper Allen wrench for every single one of their uses. My problem is remembering where I put them. Found. All right. So you just 
pop this a little loose and you can spin this up out of the way. So Blickman supplies us with this. This is a spacer. Just snaps onto the, uh, the boil coil to keep those rings apart. So uh, I've taken off the uh, nuts that go right there. And I'm just going to shove this on the inside. And you'll see right here how this one part of the coil goes over this. And then you can push that back down and tighten it up with your Allen wrench. Sorry if you're getting vertigo. I'm holding the camera, trying to do all this at one time. So then I scoot my my spacer perfectly opposite of this. So back to here. This pops on. And uh, take these nuts, put them back on here. Nah, I understand why Blickman wants you to put this right here now. And it's because of where this, this valve is and being able to uh, get the coil in to that perfect spot right there. I really hated the idea of having this on the front, but I didn't want to take the risk on a $430 pot. And uh, I didn't really want to install the coil in the middle. So I just went with what they said in their instructions. So once that's sort of hand tightened on, I'm gonna take a socket wrench. This is a 7 8 socket wrench. It's gotta be extra deep to fit over these prongs. And uh, just tighten up. And that is a boil coil installed and done. They've got this uh, gigantic Horkin power cable. Actually, the power cable's not big. The power cable is standard code with a 30 amp. But this is big Horkin, and it just plugs right in. And now you're cooking with electricity. Anyway, that's the whole thing. You saw just total 10-minute installation. Have fun.